So finally we have managed to uh, finish off our um, Atari modding. Um, I've done quite a few mods here. Um, to start with though, I'm going to show you my PCBs. Um, here's a power one that is populated. Here's another power one that's wired and populated, so I've got it all ready to be installed. There's a couple of boards only. Um, sorry about the focus. Um, I don't know why it's not focusing too well. Um, but yeah, these ones, these are quite cool. Um, if I can get it to focus. There we are. Pause mods. Um, got some pause mods here. There you go, that's an NTSC one. And we've got Pearl one populated. And that's my Atari 6 of each um, LED mods. I like to do my LED mods, but this particular one is not my trademark LED. Um, there's a reason why, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, Let's switch it on first. It's red at the moment. Um, so we'll it. Okay, so this is it. Um, we've got Dev Star Battle running at the moment. Um, it's running an S video. I'll just show you quickly. That's AV mode. That's S video mode. So we've got AV mode, we've got S video mode. AV, S video. AV, S video. AV, S video. So that's the modes we've got them running in at the moment. Now, the reason, there's a reason why I've got audio running on this. Let me just put the audio up a bit more. It's because we're going to trigger the pause. That's pause being triggered. There's no audio. Can't hear anything, can we? That's because we have actually paused audio. Um, video can also be paused, but I haven't paused a uh, video. Um, you will get the lines on the video. And the reason why is because of these boards. Um, show you again because it's S video and not standard AV there's a lot more circuitry going on so to find the uh, the video point is a lot more difficult um, so sending the pause to the video um, I wasn't sure where to tap it from because you're supposed to tap it from the beginning AV is different because all you've got with AV you've got just your AV your yellow and um, your phono so you tap it straight off your phono on the actual motherboard itself and you're done. It's just like I did with the audio, I just tapped from the audio to pause the audio. But because you've got Chroma, Luma and video and it all combined, basically Chroma and Luma is what you're using. And it sum, it multiply and sums it to give you composite. So that's how you get your composite from this particular mod. But we've managed to do the audio and that's the main thing. Um, so let's unpause it. Back to audio again. So we pause the audio there. Now there's one more other thing that I wanted to show you and why this isn't my trademark pink LED mod. Because when you start up, I've, I've mentioned this in the past in a few of my videos, when you start up your console, and you've actually accidentally got your pause flicked um, and you start up your video then you might have the little problem of um, not realizing that you're actually in pause mode and if you don't realize that you're actually in pause mode you might get really worried and you know I mean you might think is my cart broken is it dirty? Is the console not working? There's a lot of things going on in you know in a person's head when the cart's not when the console doesn't switch on. But the last thing that comes to your mind, it's Sod's law, is 
let me check my pause switch. <laughs> you know, that, that never comes to mind until right at the end. So we've made it easy for you guys. I'm going to put it back into pause. And this is why I didn't do it my trademark pink. Don't know if you noticed that. But the colour changed. Okay, in and out of pause. Um, I'll put the volume back up again so you can so you can hear it rather than because I can't do it both at the same time. Oh, that's a bit too much there. Um, so. That there. You can see it by the camera's not picking it up too well, but you can see it by eye. It goes red and yellow. It is the, the mod goes red and yellow, and um, and that's one of the reasons why I couldn't make it my trademark um, pink is because I had to struggle to find the correct combination that would be visible to the eye. Um, the camera's still not picking it up, but the camera or the eye wasn't picking up some of the other ones. I did blue and pink um from blue to pink i did from red to pink um i did all sorts of colors and this was what worked red to yellow um it's basically a combination of colors you got to use for that the great thing about this mod is i'm using a single led um yes this mod is known um it's a standard known mod um to put an led on your pause mod but i don't think anyone's ever done a single LED with pause and power so you know that you're on but you also know whether you're in pause mode or not so like now sort of in red um, sort of in yellow You, you can just about make it out um, on the camera that is, but to the naked eye, you can see it quite clearly. Um, you can see the colour change of the MD quite clearly. Um, standard is red, pause mod is yellow. Um, so that's what we've got. So basically this is, this is the ultimate dream machine. Um, we've got AV. We've also got S-Video. We've got power LED, we've got pause mod, we've got audio pause, no video pause yet, but that'll come soon. And we've also got pause LED on the same LED circuit, on the same LED itself. Um, I don't think I have actually screwed this down. Uh, if I've got a few minutes, let's see if we can do a tour. Tour of my the inside of mine. It's the AV board. That's the pause board. It's the pause switch right there. Get your S videos and your um, AV switches, uh, your AV ports there. Um, you got your LED there. Um, now I don't know if you can see, but that's that's your colours. Uh, that's why you got about five or six ports there. Basically, I'll tell you what it is. That's that yellow one's ground. That's that. Well, that one's green. That one's blue, and that one's red. Oh no, sorry. That one's green. That one's blue, and that one's red. So red is on power, and when green kicks in, red and green mixed makes that yellowy color. Um, red and blue mixed makes pink. So I did try red only, and then mixed with blue to make the pink, and it didn't work. Tried it the opposite way around, it still didn't work too well. So that's why I had to use a few different combinations and I had to use different resistor combinations as well to get the right sort of feel of the colour. So that's basically what it was. Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, I've, I've, I hit it spot on, I think. Um, I can see it with my eye. So if I was to start this up and I saw the yellow light, 
you know, I mean, I'd, I'd visibly, clearly be able to see the yellow light, and I'd know, yep, I'm in pause mode. I'm in pause mode, so I better take that out of pause mode now, because obviously you don't have the audio anymore, and audio gets paused. Um, but yeah, there we have it. Um, that's all my mods. Um, this, these mods are available um, if anyone wants to get them done. I am in UK, so I'm UK based, United Kingdom. So I do these mods, um, you know, I mean, for PAL machines. I do, I, I do them for NTSC as well, as you saw. I've got the NTSC boards as well. So if in PAL land you own an NTSC console, then no problem whatsoever. We can do that for you, and we shall um, do an NTSC console for you too. Um, prices are fixed. Um, they will be um, posted up on our website and our Facebook group, um, so you can actually get hold of us there. Um, it's standard um, URL, Facebook groups, and the actual group name itself is UKVCSC. So that's our group name, and our website to come soon. We're still um, f uh, ironing out a few of the kinks. And that will be uh, www.ukvcsc.co.uk. Um, hopefully we'll see you there. Um, it's going to be a website and a forum as well on there. So um, fingers crossed we'll get um, a, uh, that going and set up as soon as we possibly can. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Um, and um, I hope it's something that you guys um, think is quite good. And... Um, whether you want to get it done or not, um, thumbs up would be great <laughs> uh, if you if you like it. Um, and thank you for watching.